Yo, yo, what's up everyone? Hope everyone's having an amazing day. Today we have a brand new product review. As you can see in front of me here, we have five of these brand new, we're just going to call them 2020 through 2023 Panini Prism Basketball Tins. So in this year's tins, you get obviously four packs through uh, 2020 through 2023 of the Prism Basketball Retail Pack. They come from retail boxes. So four packs in each box, they cost $25 to $30 depending on where you find them in store. Then you also get the tin as well. We were able to find three of the Victor Wembanyama rookie tins. It's gonna be, it's gonna to be tough, but we're gonna bust them open. But honestly, I think leaving these sealed long term could be, you know, probably a good little hold. We'll find out. But without any further ado, let's just nose dive right into this, right into these tins. So here's a good look at the tin without, you know, all the decoration on it. They look pretty cool, honestly. I'd say the tin has to be at least five, 10 bucks, you know, alone. So let's uh, nose dive into this. Let's get our packs out. So as promised, we have 2021, 2020, we get to chase after Anthony Edwards. We have 2022, we get to chase after Paolo and Chet. This year, we obviously get to chase after Wemby. And then 2021, there's a pretty good amount of rookies. We get to chase after Cade, Jalen Green, Shen Goon, all them guys, so. Without any further ado, we're just going to nosedive one tin at a time. Before we get into this rip, however, we still have a free YouTube uh, giveaway going on. All you have to do is just like, comment, and subscribe on the YouTube uh, giveaway video to get qualified. The giveaway ends next Friday, giving away everything you see in front of me here. We have a bunch of basketball, giving away a Mega Box of Prism Revolution Basketball Blaster. We have a Zenith Football Mega, and I'm giving away some Blaster, or excuse me, some uh, Donruss Football Packs as well. So, again, just like, comment, subscribe on the giveaway video to get qualified. And without any further ado, we'll uh, go year by year. We'll start with 2020, and then obviously jump from there. Everyone say a prayer to the card gods. Let's get active for the one time. How crazy would it be if we just pulled the Anthony Edwards or, you know, LaMelo, Tyrese Maxey? This whole draft class was really fun. All right, we're looking at... I'm kind of sticking together. We have Baines up top, Joel Embiid. We have Stort and Zach Levine. So pretty dusty first pack. Let's bounce over to 2021. Hopefully we don't get all base cards. So far we do. Joe Harris, Joe Ingles, Primo, and Jaden Springer. Now 2022, probably my least favorite class out of all three, or all four. All right, we have DeAndre Hunter. I do see a green. We're looking at Dennis Rodman. No rookies. We have Donovan Mitchell. I think the 2022 design is the worst as well. All right, let's pull a victor. Hopefully Wemby can save us. We got Aaron Gordon. We got a backwards card of Anthony Black. We have Derek Whitehead and a ba backwards Gabe Vincent. Okay. So there's $30 down the drain. Our first Wemby tin did not deliver the hype. And that's why we got five of these tins. If all five tins are uh, dusty, then it might be a sign to stay away. But if we can pull, like, you know, at least one nice card or something nice, might be able to justify the price on these. Really, at least you get, really, I think the highlight is getting to walk away with the 10. If you're especially able to find the Wemby 10s. All right, so we have 20, 22, 21, 22, and 23. All right, come on, Ant-Man, pop out of here. We need you. Got Josh Hart, Aaron Gordon, Luca, and Wendell Carter. Man, these packs are tough. I don't even think we've pulled a rookie yet. 2021. We're going to have Tillman, Curry, Joker. We got a rookie of Jeremiah Robinson Earl. All right, 2022 Prism. We're going to have Beasley, Justin Holiday, Ochi, and we did get an Isaiah Mobley. All right, last pack of 10-2. It has been a nightmare so far. 
Got more weird backwards action. We got Sabonis, Russell, Deep Space Jaw, and Josh Hart. Yikes. All right. Maybe we just started out with the, the bad tens and it's just going to be up from here. I mean, it can't get any worse than what it, we've uh, opened so far, at least. It literally can't get worse. All right, 2022, we're, or 20, we got 2020, 21, 22, and then 23. We'll start with the Ant-Man year pack. Man, I'm so sick of the all base packs. We got Wes Matthews. We just got a Tyrese Maxey. We got a rookie, Sabin Lee. All right, at least we got a nice Tyrese Maxey rookie to get us on the board. It's the instant impact insert, obviously. All right, let's bounce over to 21. At least we're on the board, and we also have a ruby red wave. For the Nets. Not a very good team. Oh, oh, Daron Sharp. I was going to say maybe Cam Thomas. We got Will Chamberlain on the back. It's a cool card. Love these ruby red waves. All right, 2022 time. We got Kenny Lofton, Wendell Moore, and Tatum. And then our 2023 pack. Man, what's up with all this backward stuff? We got Hunter on the back. Walker Kessler. We have a silver of... Oh, it's a green of a Sore Thompson on the uh, Insta Impact. <clears throat> all right, we'll keep it moving. Let's bounce over to the Luka tin. All right, 2020. Hopefully, the goal with 2020, we've already pulled Tyrese Maxey rookie. Now we just need to pull like a parallel. We need to avoid the all base card packs, which I don't think we did here. We got Juan Hernan Gomez. Precious on the emergent. These cards are super sticky. We got a rookie of Killian Hayes. A fallen soldier for my Pistons. They released him this last year. All right, keeping it pushing. We got another all base card pack. Lonnie Walker, Draymond, rookie Cam Thomas, Tim Duncan on the back. 2022 Prism Time. We're going to have Chris Kawhi, Insta Impact, Dyson Daniels, and a rookie of Osmond Diang. Thunder rookie too. You know, after opening all these uh, throwback prisms, it makes me realize I'm not really a big fan of the prism design. I'd rather, I think optic looks a much more, this looks better. Like especially the base cards. Oh my God, we have a pink pulsar. Those are numbered to 42. What are the odds of that? Now that just made things super interesting. Those are like the case hit of this product. We have one in this pack. Holy smokes. I don't even know. Let's get our team first. It looks like Jazz. We have Bryce Sensabaugh, rookie. This is going to be numbered 37 of 42. We've got two. We've got a whole bunch of... I mean, this card is in like PSA negative 10 condition, but it's still gorgeous. Let's see if I can get all this gunk out. This looks awful. That stuff is not coming out. So that's unfortunate, but regardless, I don't know if you guys can see. It looks like a whole streak is up and down the card. Regardless, though, awesome. Probably as good as it gets from these tins right here, man. Rookie Pink Pulsar out of 42, Bryce Sensabaugh. And we got one final pack, or tin, I should say, to go. It's going to be a Wemby tin. 
so that was the Luca tin. I would say so far, go with Luca. The Wemby tins are looking like a better hold. So far, we have not pulled anything from the Wemby tins, but we still got one left. That was cool, though. That was pretty sick. Literally doesn't, you can't ask for much more than that. All right, here we go. Our last pack of 2020. It's going to be our last 10 overall. Thank you to everyone that stuck around. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, show some love real quick. We finally got a silver back there. Aaron Gordon from the back. We have just a base card of John Isaac. Silver time. Not a rookie. It hurt Gordon. All right, 2021, your last chance to redeem yourself. You have been awfully quiet. We have favors. Nice. We got Evan Mobley this time. Got a red wave rookie. From Brandon Boston Jr. And then Zach Levine on the back. Nice little pull. 2022 Prism. You've been the worst performer in this video. It's time to step it up. All right, Jalen Green, David Robinson. We do got a silver of Clint Capella and AO on the back. All right, last pack of the video. We just want to say thank you to everyone that stuck around. It's been a decent, decently fun one. We got a backwards card facing right at us of Sadiq Bay. It's not a good sign. We have Bruce Brown. As well, John Stockton. We're going out on a silver for the Bucks, Dame Lillard. So all around, meh pulls. Can't really complain. We spent 150 bucks on all these tins. That's kind of the harsh part. Here's what we walked away with. We got the Evan Mobley, the Sword Thompson, and our two best pulls. We got the Tyrese, Tyrese Maxi Insta Impact. And we did get a case, or we got like a nice hit here. Bryce Sensabaugh. Numbered out of 42 on the pink Pulsar. So overall, pretty fun video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Show some love as always. Peace out.